Good afternoon and welcome to Monday on Bad Dog Comedy TV, live on YouTube and Ayaka's Kitchen. Now, please welcome your host, Ayaka. Hello! Hi, everyone! How are you doing? I am a dog. I'm 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 a dog.
Um, they moved to yeah. her to be a farmhand just, um, I think it was in Minot, which is just in Saskatchewan near Regina. But okay. um, my papa didn't get along with the farmer there. So they moved up, they moved to Regina. Um, so he never got to live his dream of owning his own farm. Um, but yeah. they, brought, they brought up their family in Regina. And um, yeah. 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 So are, are there like people from uh, Europe, many people from Europe in that area, like Regina, Saskatchewan area? Or? Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't think there was like necessarily many people from like, I don't think they necessarily had a community of Danish people. So mm -hmm. the farmhand that they, that or the farmer that they initially worked for was Danish, but they didn't get along. And then mm -hmm. they kind of like very quickly had to learn English. And so I think like my dad and his siblings learned quicker as kids do. And um, my family got a job cooking for the RCMP because there's a big RCMP oh, wow. in, um, in Regina and my uncle, uh, so my papa's brother worked for the RCMP. He trained horses oh, wow. for them. Oh, so. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So back then in the sixties was was like that, but nowadays I feel like Denmark is such like ad ad advanced. Is that the right way of calling country? Is that yeah? Oh, socialist country. Socialist. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so they're yeah. like, you don't have to pay for university. University is paid for, healthcare is paid for. Um, they pay a lot of taxes, but like, yeah. so if you were to be a, a, a server there, you you don't have to rely on tips. You just get paid like a really good, actually a really mm -hmm. good living and everyone gets vacations. Um, so yeah, it's a very socialist country. Yeah, Whoa. so like, I, I I guess Sweden a little bit similar in that sense that like I know some Swedish people told me like yes tax is very expensive but like we don't have to pay for anything so at the end like living cost is like maybe it's cheaper here like that kind of stuff so like yeah things are expensive but lots of things are paid for so that yeah. is really cool. <laughs> Yeah, really, and I, really think, cool. I think if you believe in that, if like for myself, I'm like, I would way rather live in a place where like university is accessible to everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I think at heart, I'm a socialist for sure. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's in your blood. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. so uh, you came from a very cooking is fun kind of family household. I believe, <laughs> and uh, yeah. you uh, cooked something for me, and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for actually cooking for my this show. Pleasure. It was so yeah. nice. I, I, this is my first time making um, the meat of the meal because I, I was vegetarian for so much of my life. Mm -hmm. um, so I haven't cooked, I don't even think I've eaten, uh, I don't know if I should say, frikadella, which is a Danish meatball since I was, maybe like 15 or 14 mm. or 15. So it, it was very nice to do it. Yeah, so yeah, tell us the name again and here's the meal. Yeah, so that's uh, Frikadella. Dip it. Oh, ooh. Dip it. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, so we've got Frikadella. Frikadella, yeah. Um, and that's, that's the Danish meatballs and they've got a little uh, brown gravy on top. Um, so they're fried in butter, which is, I think, what makes them so delicious. And it's um, it's traditionally uh, min minced pork, but I just made it with beef. Um, or it's a mixture of mm. veal and pork, but I just made it with beef. And um, a nice little brown gravy with cream in it. So it's like lots of dairy, lots of butter, lots of onions. Yes. Lots of uh, butter is like what I hear for like, like uh wait eastern europe but like the, uh denmark is not really eastern europe i guess but still lots of butter <laughs> yeah butter was um butter was always available in my fama and fafa's house for fafa's sure house. and chelsea said what wow, that uh chelsea said cooking fun household <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah. definitely um and the pickled why is pickled cabbage why is this so, so purple the, so that's red cabbage. Red um, cabbage. So red cabbage that's is like, also kind of a traditional thing. So this is the, when I was looking up the recipes for how to make it, um, they kept saying like, this is a classic Danish peasant meal. I think because it's like, everything's kind of rather cheap. You got the potatoes. Um, so the, 
the red cabbage is um, boiled in apple cider vinegar. So it's a little bit ah. and a little bit sweet. And yeah. so it's great with this meal because it just adds a burst of flavor. And then um, another really classic meal in Denmark is a smorgasbord, which is open face sandwiches on rye bread. Yeah, they have lots of rye bread yeah. in uh, Scandinavia, that, that, that area. Oh, yeah. interesting. Okay, yeah. so you can also have that on that. We are gonna, we're gonna make sushi with it. Yay. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay! So yeah, I washed my hands, and I'm gonna just like wet my hands again, and we're gonna make it. So, Kirsten, you have mm -hmm. the mat right yeah. here, and then have the nori, the seaweed. Yes. And we place the seaweed close to you, like the edge right here. Okay. Edge of the mat and wet your fingers and then we are going to put rice here. Um, have you made sushi before? I think I no. Maybe in <laughs> university, but I don't remember. Yeah. Um have you ever made da Danish sushi before? <laughs> Definitely not. Yay! Awesome. So you put the rice in like a uh stripe like longer this this way okay and then it's easier to spread um back and backwards and forwards i don't <laughs> backwards and forwards yeah is there a specific rice that you like to use best um there are ooh, it's uh well i can talk about rice all day long but <laughs> here in canada people call it like sushi rice or sticky rice and that's such a broad term for the kind of rice I like. Right. Um, within that, like there are so many different kinds. Like think of like red apple, there's gala and uh, honey crisp and Fuji and like all those different names. So right. if you're talking about those different names, I really like um, uh, Koshi Hikari is really good. And mm. uh, my, my, uh, fam my family, not immediate family, but family made this, um, uh, how do you call it? It's not GMO, but like putting different kinds of the same. Oh, yeah. Like grain and, and mod modified, modified, I guess. So they have their I forgot the name, but they have their own thing. And they 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 are like teachers and they work for universities and stuff like that. But they have their own rice field for their own rice to eat con consumption. Whoa. And yeah, that's my favorite rice. But I cannot remember the name. <laughs> and I don't right. I don't know if they said it. Yeah. But yeah, those are uh, all sticky rice, I guess people call it in English. And I mixed it with vinegar, sugar, and salt to make it sushi rice. Otherwise, nice. it's a regular rice. But yeah, that vinegary thing goes really well with the fish or anything that we roll. So nice. how's that going? Good. I think good. I did a good job. <laughs> good, good, good. And then once you have every like rice everywhere, just cover the whole, whole thing, the entire thing, and yeah. we'll flip it. Flip flipping it is like flipping the egg. You have to do it in like one shot. So pew, just like that. Okay, uh, I'm just yeah. trying to get rice in this one corner. One corner. I've got one so, naked corner. <laughs> one naked corner. Please cover it. Cover it up. <laughs> okay. Um, I did it. Okay, good. Yay. Good, good, good. And in Denmark, like, I know they have lots of, like, pastries. I think that's what mostly, like, we think of what Danish food is. Yeah. But there are lots of other things, like meatballs and stuff, I believe, now that, now that I've seen it. So can you tell me more about different kinds of food there, what you had when you were there, stuff like that? Oh, yeah. When I was there, I don't think I was still vegetarian. I'm trying mm -hmm. to remember. Uh, but fish is really big there, so I ate a lot of oh. fish. Is that herring? Um, okay. There is herring, um, but also like uh, so many different kinds of fish and a, a lot of like white fish. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, and then like smorgasbord, which is usually like it can be sliced meats in rye bread, uh, cheese in mm -hmm. rye bread, um, so much stuff like that. Yeah. Um, fish. It, what ocean is that? Baltic Ocean? Is that? I don't know what ocean that is, but it's a. Oh fish from ocean or like the river yeah. like salt fish uh, uh how do you call that fresh water fish i think it's uh anders <laughs> i think uh, it's um, um, he's wait, from, I think I know. where is he from I, norway i think 
I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So cool. Yeah. yeah. His sister is living in Copenhagen right now, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, Scandinavia. Okay, so uh, lots of fish, lots of meat, and yeah. like Sweden. Oh, Sweden. Oh, Sweden. What? Cool. Yes, I was in Sweden last year, tomorrow, and this year I wanted to go somewhere else for my birthday. Couldn't work, but that's okay. I'll go back there. <laughs> We're just going yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, we are here. We are learning. I'm learning. I've never been to Denmark, actually. It's really fun mm -hmm. to learn this. Very pretty. Yeah. I went, I, I've only been once because uh, it's expensive to get to. Um, mm -hmm. But I had such a great time. It was winter, so I really want to go back in the summer because they have great yeah. bike, they have like bike lanes everywhere. Oh, um, yes. You yeah. can travel the whole country on bikes. So I really want to do uh, that. How cold was the winter, like compared to Toronto? It was, um, it was kind of similar. It was, it was like, I guess at the end of March, early April. And I, I had um, been in Germany for an improv festival. So that's how oh. I was like, I was like, oh my God, it was my first time being in Europe. And I was like, well, I'm so close to my home. I need oh. to go. Um, yeah. And I have so much family there because like I said, my Fafa had 11 brothers and sisters. So that's crazy. <laughs> a lot of people there to visit. So yeah, I basically went and just got passed from house to house to house. Oh. Um, but it was, it's like a wet cold. So it is, it like gets in your bones, which I guess is kind oh. of like Toronto. I, you know, I grew up in the prairies where it's like a dry cold. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to stay warm, but it's, you know, so. Yeah. Oh great. my. Yeah. Compared to like prairie from Japan, Toronto is like, oh, it's so dry. Compared to like where I grew up, it's Whoa. like it's actual like really wet cold. But yeah, I guess it's in in between prairies. And yeah. Japan. Yeah. Well, oh. if you if you ever go to the prairies, you you'll get nosebleeds. <laughs> it's so dry yeah. in the winter, you will get nosebleeds. Yeah. So what? How do you think like your family? Like how did they adjust? Like from being that kind of climate, going to like somewhere like really really cold and dry. Um, I think that like I think the winters in Denmark are pretty harsh so they were mm -hmm. used to the cold. Um, mm -hmm. I think my mom always said that she really missed the ocean but she would talk about oh. how the the prairies like the wind going across the prairies reminded her of the ocean but that was something that she really missed always was the How ocean. that's so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, like ocean like a big nothingness and yeah. just like waves of <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's beautiful yeah oh, that's very, very, yeah okay let's keep rolling this and now i'm going to cut your meatball and calling it meatball is more like i don't know meatball for me is like a ball this is more flat is there like a different translation for, i don't know uh well they yeah when I grew up, they were just called fricadella, and um, when I was watching the videos, they were like they're oval shaped, um, and it's mm -hmm. because you the the batter's really sticky when you yeah. put it all together. It has like eggs and milk. It's like a really wet uh, batter, and yeah. um, and so you just use a spoon to scoop it out, and that's why it's kind of oval shaped. Ah, I see, I see. So it's not like you made it flat. It's like the oval makes it like a bowl yeah. type a little more flat <laughs> yeah and i think if i had a bigger serving spoon they would probably be a bit bigger <laughs> yeah these I were see, on I the see. smaller side i think it was my first time so i was like i don't know <laughs> looks great so i'm gonna put this like in a line like everything in line whoa so you said there's egg and milk in here yeah so it's um it was ground beef and mm. then diced onions, mm. um, eggs, a uh, couple garlic cloves, and mm. and then milk and a little breadcrumbs and a little flour. You know what? I haven't tasted it yet, so I cannot tell till I taste it. But we have something very, very similar in Japan. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we put uh yeah some people put milk not not everyone put milk but like breadcrumbs uh egg 
and t- to make it really like soft, um, mm-hmm. almost like a butter dough kind of thing. Yeah. And shaped, um, yeah, like an oval um, shape. So no. now I'm thinking what we have in Japan is maybe Danish. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> no. the weird thing about Denmark is that mm. that's where the Vikings are from. And uh-huh. They went all over the world uh, c- colonizing and <laughs> doing stuff. But what it meant is that they uh-huh. also picked up a lot of interesting things from their travels. So uh-huh. there, there, oh, are, yeah. there are customs there that, you know, potentially could be from all over the world. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So, like, they brought things from there to abroad, but also brought things back. Yeah. Like, but vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm putting the sauce, the gravy, all over Ooh. on it. Yeah, and I'm gonna add. Uh, I guess I will add everything in here, so we have the whole dish in one bite. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too greedy not to do it. Um, okay, so potatoes. I'm gonna cut them as well. And potatoes very common to eat as well as the bread. Yeah, it would always be. Any meal with meat, there'd usually be either mashed potatoes or boiled boiled potatoes with a little mm. bit of green onion. Do you eat rice there? How, did you see rice there? Um, for Christmas, it's a Christmas dish. So mm. um, the big Christmas night in Denmark is Christmas Eve. And on Christmas Eve, yeah. we have a, a rice pudding. Um, the ah, rice sweet. And- yeah, very sweet. Whipped cream and almonds and, and then like oh. served, served with a cherry sauce. Sounds amazing. It's so good. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm like, it's so fun to look at it too. It's like, usually there's like meat and potato and whatever, but like there's like so red and like so green thing as well. It makes yeah. it so colorful and cute. Yeah. Yeah, and I haven't tasted the, the anything. But how does the cucumber taste like? Is this it's pickled so it, or? Yeah, it's um, it's like a quick pickle, I guess. So it's just the the dressing is just v- white vinegar and sugar, um, mm-hmm. and then just a bit of pepper, and that's it. Okay, very like you can really taste the ingredient kind of. Yeah, this cold. was it was my favorite thing to eat as a kid. Um, really. My family called it gor- gorka salad. I think gorka is just pickle. Okay. Um, and I remember when I went to Denmark and met some of my cousins, I was like, oh, are we going to have gorka salad? And she was like, that's something that old old Danes eat. Like old people eat that. <laughs> we don't eat that. And I was like, oh, well, I love it. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> but it's healthy. I'm sure it's healthy. Yeah. Healthy things are good. Oh, look how colorful this thing is. It's beautiful. Very, very good. And um, Danish, I know a few things that's famous from Denmark is um, one is like colorful, cute houses by the, I think it's the river, but now, now I think about it, maybe it's ocean. Like the scenery is beautiful. Yeah. And also the um, uh, Little Mermaid. That's yes. Danish, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah actually. Like, oh, I wish I could show you this. I, I will. So my... Um, Oh, I don't know how to do this, actually. No. Oh, yeah, I can figure this out. My grandma was a painter. Uh My mama was a painter. And so Uh I have here a painting she made of the Little Mermaid. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that's the famous uh, statue of the Little Mermaid. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So that was that's uh, Hans Christian Andersen, uh, who wrote the fairy tales of Little Mermaid. He he grew up in Denmark and... um, he he was kind of he's kind of a beautiful story. No one in Denmark liked him. They all thought he was oh. kind of a weirdo. Mm-hmm. Uh, he also wrote um, the Emperor's New Clothes, and so it was kind of based on him, like everyone making fun of him. So, yeah, he wasn't well loved until he got famous outside of Denmark, mm. and then he, then he became a national treasure. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Now uh, wait, it's. He's not alive yet. <laughs> no, he, no, he's dead. Okay. But his family gets all the royal yo, royalty from Disney, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I, yeah, I hope so. Little I hope so. I hope so. Frozen. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, how is your sushi going? 
Good. I think I've got everything on there. Just need a couple more cucumbers and I'm set. Can everyone see this? This is so pretty. It's like so colorful. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah. Cabbage is like everywhere in the world. I I had an um, episode with Shihen, uh, was it introducing me to Chinese culture and they had like pickled cabbage Ooh. and we were talking about like, oh yeah, so it's like Germany or like um, other places like Eastern Europe, lots of places have cabbage like, and now Denmark as well, <laughs> lots yeah. of cabbage everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So now we're going to roll it. Are you ready to rock and yes. roll? Okay. So this edge, I moved it a little bit. Shoot. This edge that uh, I said, okay, bring that to the edge. That will only cover the ingredient. So like this area will be empty. You can still see the seaweed part. So make sure your hands, uh, fingers are a little wet so it's easier to roll. Well, I think I was too greedy. I think I put too much, too many things. <laughs> yeah, but I'll try. So really push everything inside. And yeah, just like cover until this area. Oh, and I lost the potato. <laughs> <laughs> just leave the potato, we'll come back to it. Yeah, just push everything inwards and then after that just remove this edge part of the mat and then roll the rest and make them stick together whoa how's that going good i think i put too many things let's see if that really stick together oh i'm so excited that way that how colorful that was i'm pretty sure it's gonna be Really pretty once we cut it. Yes, I got it. That looks so yummy. Let's see if it's actually yummy. But I'm sure it is. <laughs> yeah, when, I when you asked me to do the show, I was like, because the other thing we're kind of famous for is pastries. So I was yeah. like, oh, I could, because there is a couple of Danish bakeries in town. Mm -hmm. But um, but this is the meal that means the most to me. So Aww, that's so nice. Very, very nice. Okay, did you roll? Yep. Okay. It, uh, it's we are rolled. going to cut it. We are going to cut it. Okay. So hopefully your knife is sharp. So we are going to cut right in the middle first and go slowly and gently. Otherwise, you squish the whole thing. Yes. And keep your fing fingies wet. And then uh, have the cut side face. Each, uh, face the same direction, same same way. And then, so this is the edge and edge. Here's the cut part. And then yeah. we are going to cut them in thirds. So we'll have six pieces. Have um, you noticed lots of sushi restaurants have like, okay, this is six piece. And I think that's because like, that's the way they can cut the most beautiful. Right, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Oh, I put lots of things in there. Okay, let's see. Let's see. How's, how's it going? Mine fell apart. <laughs> I, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> so your dad is Danish, your mom is Scottish, you said? Yeah. Do they have like different like cultural things that they have conflicts or anything like that? Um, well, my mother's family was Catholic. And um, my dad's family, uh, most people in Denmark are Lutheran. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was raised Catholic, but mm -hmm. um, I don't, I, yeah, I'm not really, I don't feel attached to that. Um, mm -hmm. I, and I remember my grandma, my father will always being like, I don't get it though. Like, you go to, you know, marriage advice to a priest who's never been married. What's that about? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. Yeah, I thought that was funny. Um, yeah. yeah, but I feel like uh, so my parents had a had a pretty messy divorce, and but we were mm. always welcome at our Famwa's house. Um, mm. And she she was a baker. Uh, like her her job at the RCMP was to be mm. a, a baker there. So there mm. was always uh, always a pot of coffee and always like treats to have. Uh -huh. For like yeah. we, uh, I lived with her one summer in university, and I gained huh. so much weight because we just had coffee really? and cake every day. Yeah. It was so, it was so good. Oh, 
Yeah, I, I feel like they have lots of good coffee um, in Scandinavia. Like they, they love coffee so much, no? In Scandinavia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very important. Good, strong um, coffee. Good, strong coffee. And yeah. Anders, if you're still watching, Pika. Pika is like um, Swedish thing, like get together with people you love and then have coffee and like relax. And I think Danish, I, I think there's a thing called you you get Hygge. Hygge. I don't know how to is that the same? Like, yeah, that one, that one. Yeah, tell us, tell us. Yeah, so it, it wasn't really a, like a thing that my fomo talked about. It's more like a new age thing, but it, mm. it's just more a lifestyle there because I think because it is cold there so much of the year. Mm. So yeah, it was. it's kind of more of a feeling of like at my fomo's place, there was always lots of blankets. Mm. In the winter, there's always a candle on. There's always snacks and tea or coffee. Mm -hmm. um, so there's just that feeling of like, you're always welcome and there's always a place for you and there's mm -hmm. always something to fill you up. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Very like, yeah, very comforting in that way. Yeah, a beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, I read or watch like, too many like minimalists or like that kind of uh, videos or books or stuff like that. And so many uh, minimalists love like Danish culture or Swedish as well, like Scandinavian things. And then like they are like, okay, minimalist things can be like um, all white walls, but like have this like one, two Danish furniture that's like, I don't know, um, teal or like something like vivid color or like it's so... Right fun and like um ca calming it's calming and like fun and like it's just like a positive energy like coziness and all that kind of together it's like yeah yeah i i love that kind of stuff so much yeah 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 yeah, yeah family okay. family mm. is really important i think because like mm. i remember when my my fama moved here she was like everyone in uh she remembers like people saying hi to her on the street in regina and she's like oh why are they talking to me? I don't know them. <laughs> um, so like stranger to stranger, not uh -huh. super friendly, but like uh, when it comes to family, you're always welcome and there's always Aww. room for you kind of feeling. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm ready to show you what I have. Are you? Yes. Okay, so introduce us this role. How do you call it? How do you call this? Uh, let's call this the, um, the, the, Frickadella and friends roll. <laughs> Frickadella and friends roll. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Sean got it. So quick. <laughs> Frickadella and friends roll. Yay. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this like purple, like red cabbage. Uh, makes it so pretty. Ooh. So pretty. Yeah, oh my gosh, now, uh, what a nice segue. Like, I was talking about that furniture thing. Like, this always calming, and then just, like, one vivid color furniture. That's this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of soy sauce and just, like, make it authentic Japanese Danish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Are you ready to eat? Can I see what you roll? Oh, my God. It's really sad. <laughs> No, that's great. That's great. Yay. I mean, all the colors are there. Just, to, just. To, I think my my knife isn't sharp enough. Ah, uh, yes, the knife. Uh, yeah, you have to go like soft and gentle, but yeah. firm at the same time. It's like raising a child. Ah, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready to eat. Are you ready yes. to eat? Okay, I am super excited. Okay, I put soy sauce. And we usually have drum rolls because I don't want anyone to hear us chewing. Okay. So Sean, if you can put drum roll, <laughs> we'll eat it. Okay, itadakimasu.
Oh God. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Freaking eagle. <laughs> Freaking eagle. Wow. <laughs> this meat is so soft. Wow. I'm is, gonna just have the meat itself. Is it like mm -hmm. the the meat that you were talking about, the Japanese dish? <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very much so. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so maybe that dish is like really like Danish influence. Yeah, very good. And the gravy is well, um, looks good. Yes, and it tastes so good. Yeah, it tastes it's, so good. It was um, uh, just like in the pot. So after I cooked up all the fricadella, then I just mm. added a little beef stock and cream to the pot to make the gravy. Mm, yes, now I taste it. It's like a bechamel. But like uh, with, I don't know, some broth kind of. Yeah. Very, very good. Oh, so good. Kirsten, you're a great chef. Thank you. <laughs> I love cooking. Mm. But I always make a mess, so I always have to wear one of these. <gasps> oh, I can't hear you. Check, check. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, weird. Um, yeah, potatoes, so good. Mm, I'm a fun. <laughs> Very good. Wow. Okay. Success, success. <laughs> success. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Very good. Wow, you are a great chef. I already said that. Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll hear it twice. Good. Okay. Um. So this was a success, and now I have to go to Denmark to have more <laughs> Danish meals, or just come over to your place and have more. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. I know I can do it. I want to host, 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 make this host, meal. Host Danish night. It's amazing. Yeah, so, so, so good. So thank you so much um, for introducing me to something new and sharing your culture. It's so fascinating and delicious. Thank you, thanks for having me. This was so thank fun. You. Thank you, thank you. So yes, it was a successful uh, sushi night and I'm having a great day, so I'm gonna say thank you to more people. So Sean, thank you so much for all the tech, Sean, behind this whole thing, doing sounds and tech and everything. So everyone say hi to Sean. And uh, Bad Dog Theater is doing so much for the community and to the world now that anyone can watch those Bad Dog TV um, comedy shows. So online, so please donate, donate. Uh, BadDogTheater.com slash Ayaka's hyphen kitchen. Um, yeah, and let's uh, support Bad Dog Theater and keep those shows running. And yeah, everyone who's watching the episode, thank you. It was fun and delicious. So it, it's, uh, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. And I cannot wait to eat the rest. <laughs> um, one naked corner now. <laughs> yeah, cover it up. Cover it up. Put that mask. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, so many comments today. That's nice, very nice. So yeah, Kirsten, thank you so so much. And um, yeah, Kirsten oh. uh, rode the bicycle all the way to my place to deliver me this food. So <laughs> extra, thank you. It was so, so fun. So in Danish, uh, when we've had a good meal, we say tak famel. Tak famel. Yeah, it means thanks for the meal. Tuck for Mel. Tuck for Mel. Tuck for Mel. And tuck for Mel to you. Thank you. That was so fun. Tuck for Mel.